The following Best of Central Florida program is sponsored in part by Amber Brook Farms, Museum of Illusions Orlando, Stumpy's Hatchet House Orlando, Universal Orlando Halloween Horror Nights, and Sophila Radio and Television Productions. Welcome to the Best of Central Florida. Today it is Best Halloween Activity in Central Florida, and we have a lot of great ones for you today. Obviously, we have a special treat for you off-site here, and we're going to come back here. Michaela Nichols is here. You love Halloween. In fact, you've already bought four costumes, I believe. I mean, Halloween's kind of my jam. It is. We're going to show you some amazing places to visit throughout Central Florida during this Halloween season, and then we'll be back right here. Quick time out. When we return, the Best Halloween Activities in all of Central Florida. The following Best of Central Florida Michaela's Choice is sponsored in part by Amber Brook Farms and Sophila Radio and Television Productions. I've got to be honest, Halloween is one of my favorite times of the year. You get to dress up, be outside, the weather's changing. So Michaela's Choice for Best Halloween Activity are my friends over at Amberbrook Farms. I am joined by the owner and farmer, <laughs> Michael Hill. Happy to have you here. Thank you. Good, glad to be here. So you were telling me you all have done a little bit of rebranding recently. Why did you guys do that? Yeah, so uh, we're farmers, full-time farmers. I'm a fourth-generation farmer from wow. Central Florida. Wow. Been here my whole life. Um, and we have, a, we have a passion for it. And we've opened two of our farms up, one outside of Gainesville and Williston, and it used to be called Red, White, and Blues, and, and uh, one in Eustis. It was called Atwood Family Farms. My business partner, uh, Ryan Atwood, uh, had a small U-pick there, and, and uh, we combined everything that we do. It makes it a lot easier, because farming's tough. It's such a tough job, and mm -hmm. we decided to name it after our wives, because <laughs> they have to put smart. up with us farming. <laughs> That's genius. Yeah, that was yeah. smart. <laughs> so my, my wife is Brooke, and my partner's wife's name, middle name is Amber. I Beautiful. love it. It's a good name. It, wor you. it works. <laughs> and speaking of things working, tell me about the Fall Fest, because that's really exciting. Yeah, so Fall Festival is a great time. You know, just like today, the, the temperature starts dropping. It gets a little bit cooler at night. Uh, you know, so many times these days, families don't get to do enough together, enough off of their digital platform. And this is a way for families to come in and, and just enjoy a day on the farm. You know, we open it up. We have sunflowers that you can pick, take pictures in. We have a pumpkin patch that you can come get any style pumpkin that you want. We have a petting zoo. We literally have giraffes and camels and kangaroos and all things like that out there. But then there's just tons of things for kids to do. But then we also have beer and wine for adults. We have fo football games on. So there's a little bit of something for everybody there. Just That's enjoy awesome. the farm. I love it. Yeah, getting outside for sure. And Halloween, you guys even have a costume contest? Yeah, so coming up on during Halloween weekend, we're going to be doing a costume contest from four to five and then also trick-or-treating from five to seven. Mm. A lot of times people, you know, get a little worried about sending their kids out to the neighborhood to trick-or-treat, so why not bring them out to the farm and you can kind of combine the two things. So spend a day, have you know, wearing the kids out and then also let them <laughs> trick-or-treat at the end. Makes sense. And one of the things that you brought, you know, you have fresh strawberries and blueberries, but people can go out there and pick them, right? Yeah, so we grow on our farm strawberries, blueberries on the farm in Wilson. We also grow peaches, but then mm -hmm. sunflowers are grown all year round. So after fall festival, we'll be open up in December for strawberry season where you can come pick your own fruit. And then also we still have all the activities that I just mentioned for the kids. So you can pick fruit, have a beer, sit back, you know, enjoy the activities. Uh, strawberry season goes from December to April. Blueberry season goes from mid-March to, to mid-May. And peach season goes from the end of May to the first of June. And then you can pick sunflowers in all of those months. Awesome. Well, Michael, thank you for the work you do. Do yourself a favor and check out Amberbrook Farms. And we'll be right back after this short break.
The following Best of Central Florida People's Choice is sponsored in part by Museum of Illusions Orlando and Sophila Radio and Television Productions. You have spoken, the people have spoken, People's Choice for Best Halloween Activity, and I don't blame you on this one. Goes to our good friends at Museum of Illusions in Orlando. Mark joins me. Mark, how are you, buddy? Good I'm great. To you. It's not just the people of Central Florida. It is TripAdvisor 2022 Traveler's Choice Award as well. You guys are killing it. Tell yes. me about your place. You know, it's a, it's a great experience. Uh, it's the, uh, it's it's a, an illusion, uh, about 50 or so illusions that your eyes see, what your brain tells you. You have an experience with our employees that create the guest experience as well. They, they take the photos for you, they explain the exhibits for you. Um, they also cry and they laugh with you, they dress up in Halloween costumes as they'll do this year. Um, so when we change our illusions around this uh, every year for Halloween, um, backgrounds into our illusions called the Ames Room um, and the Color Room. The Ames Room is similar to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Oh. So one person in one corner is big bigger than the person in the other corner and they can swap places and uh, play around with each other. But again, we have been doing uh, very well um, at Icon Park and uh, it's been uh, quite a pleasure to be there. And I think a lot of people in Central Florida might not be familiar with you yet. You've been here a year, but the museum has been around in other locations, eight locations around the world. First one here in the United States. Correct. Yeah, the first one here in Orlando. We have two in Greece, one in Istanbul, one in Spain, Croatia. We're all over the place. That's uh, really quite amazing. What are the yeah. age groups? What age comes to see you? Uh, great question. Uh, I, I think the if we're all for all ages. Um, we're date nights. We're family. Um, come with your team building, with your corporation. Uh, very good team building um, 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 uh, exhibit or attraction to go to. Uh, but uh, all ages, and uh, we um, we tend to have. Uh, we, well, we say we span from five years old that really gets it, comes in with family to 99. It seems that the older people enjoy it more than the little kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> Des Describe the scene. Let's say I haven't been there yet. I walk through the doors. Describe the scene. Oh, great. So, yeah, so you walk in, we have our check-in desk, and you go into one flow scenario where you go into a U-shape where all the exhibits are either on your right or to your left. Um, you enter um, uh, after you, you get this whole little spill and script that the uh, employees will give you. Uh, but you end up, end up in our first room, which is the climbing room over to your left. But again, you go into a U-shape. There's about 13 or so exhibits that you ex immerse mm -hmm. yourself in where you become part of the illusion. Um, and then the rest of the exhibits are the interactive exhibits that you go through. It's a walk-through experience. Um, you take your time, your own pace. Um, it's about 45 minutes to an hour to get through, uh, depending on how much you interact with the, with the exhibits. Location? Icon Park. Oh, everybody knows Icon Park. Yes. Yeah. You guys are doing some great stuff down there for sure. I like your, your museum for, for corporate purposes too. Can I actually buy it out and do a whole corporate event there? Yes, yes. Oh. We get a lot of requests for that. Um, and it's been very popular since we've been open this past year when people have come aware of that. Um, we have uh, we have bought, the, I mean, they have bought the museum out and it's been a pleasure for them to experience it in a different way than going to a hotel and having four walls with, you know, and addressing that up now they're coming into a museum where they have a full experience. You're big on community as well. Yes, Tell we are. Tell me about your community initiative. Oh, that's great. We we um, we always participate in donations. Every single month, we pick a charity to donate to. Um, so, just for example, LGBTQ Month with Ju in June, we donate to different different entities uh, throughout the community. Um, this month, we're doing Women's Month, so we're donating to the Hope Foundation and that sort of thing. So Harbor House, I should say. Yeah. Um, so House. we are. So we are. We we we, we tend to want to always give back to the community. From from a perspective that the community has given us love, so to speak, since we've opened. Um, and we've had all kinds of demographics and people come to us and asking us to do those things. And it's a no-brainer for us. You know, Halloween is a fun holiday for a lot of people, children and adults alike. And there's some things around Orlando that you know, Halloween maybe played out a little bit. You're new, you're a little bit different. It's a different Halloween experience. Why should I spend my Halloween uh, at Museums of Illusions? Well, you know, it's it's all about your creativity, right? I mean, Halloween is about when you immerse yourself into being this somebody else, right? Yeah. And that's what illusions are about. Illusions are your perspective of what I look like, what I dress like, what I'm what I what I'm participating in, right? And I think that we we tend to kind of gravitate to that being our 
favorite uh, time of the year. We're orange and black, yeah. <laughs> so it makes sense for us, you know, to, to be able to, to, to have that as our number one uh, holiday, so to speak. Uh, but we, we, we always intend, we always encourage people to dress up, come into the museum, be as creative as you want, especially within the illusions that you immerse yourself in. We want to make sure that you get the best photos, the best illusions um, that our employees help you out with in your Halloween attire. It's a unique experience for sure, but at a really good price. Yes, very good price. We have multiple um, discounts that we run throughout the year, whether it be Florida resident, military. Um, we also um, we, we have family four packs, family eight packs. We have group um, uh, discounts, but we ultimately have our gate price at $26.99 and then the kids at $20, $22.99. But again, come find us for the discount. Right. You'll see it on our website. And restaurants and bars around there. Make it a whole yeah. night of it, Make Mark it. Tipton. Great to see Absolutely. you, man. You guys keep up the good work down there. We We're will. really proud of I what you're doing. It. Visit our good friends at Museums of Illusions Orlando. Great spot. Unique environment for your Halloween season. I love it down there. Do me a favor. Stick around. Justin's Choice is up next. The following Best of Central Florida Justin's Choice is sponsored in part by Stumpy's Hatchet House Orlando, Universal Orlando Halloween Horror Nights, and Sophila Radio and Television Productions. And as always, my favorite portion of the program, it is Justin's Choice. And this one's obvious to me, Justin's Choice for best how, what? What's so funny? I mean, it's funny that you said obvious to you because you, go ahead, you know what? I won't steal your thunder. Dumpy's Hatchet <laughs> House. I love these guys. I love axe sewing. How are you? Good to see you again. Doing well, doing well. Since I first met you, I'm telling you, I love throwing axes. I don't really get to do it enough, but I, I love it. And nice to meet you for the nice first time as well. Two things. Number one, someone who has not been axe throwing at all. Why do it? Why? It's a good time. Yeah. I mean, everyone has stress in their life. Everyone has a lot going on. You take that second to get out there, do something physical, do something fun, drink a cold beer, <laughs> and then have this one teach you how to throw something sharp. I mean, how does it get any better? So, Estella, you're a teacher there, huh? You're a coach. Yeah, so you'll help Justin, right? I don't need, I mean, she needs more help than I do. Yeah. And, yes. And, and so, obviously, if you're, you know, if you haven't been axe throwing yet, you have to do it. I promise you, it is so much fun. But now there are a few different options throughout Central Florida. Stumpy's the best. Why Stumpy? Well, we try to make it so that it's less about the axe throwing and more about the experience. We want you to come in, have a great time, whether you want to be a professional axe thrower or if you want to just come in, have a good time with your friends, drink some local craft yeah. beers, and just, you know, blow off some steam. Now, you have a lot of people that come there who aren't even throwing axes. They're there just to hang out. I mean, we do have some of those. Yeah. We try to encourage them to get a little yeah, throwing in course. because, you know, it's always funny seeing the people that are a little reluctant get out of their comfort zone, you know. Shelly from accounting comes in and <laughs> ends up being one of the professionals. You can't really, it's, yeah. uh, it's definitely interesting. Now you have a throw and glow party coming up. I got to hear about this one. Yes, yeah, so we decided to spice it up for the Halloween season and we're going to be turning um, the place and just, you know, throw and glow pretty much. We're gonna turn the targets um, neon with some like spray paint. We're gonna have some black lights um, and we're actually planning on throwing at pumpkins. Oh, so we're mm. gonna put the pumpkin in the target and you know, check at it. That'll be amazing. Now what I've seen a lot of too is for corporate companies, for companies out there to have their holiday parties or even any sort of corporate function there, it really brings the team together. It's quite the team building adventure. It is. That's, um, that is our, the big thing. We, we do a lot of, uh, a lot of conventions, a lot of big companies coming in. We have a capacity of 250 people wow. with, we're, we also have a back patio that can accommodate the same, if not more people. Yeah. So n no matter the size of your group, we can take care of you. Um, it's one of those things too that it's still pretty new. All right, everyone's been bowling. People have played darts. <laughs> you know, everyone. They, you know how people know how to go to the batting cages. 
But if you take them out of their comfort zone and you go over there and you check out Stumpies, you're gonna have someone that you have no idea that would be great at it, and then someone that you would think would be the pro end up struggling a little bit and having a little more of a challenge. That's right. So it brings the team together. It's Definitely. it's something new that I, everyone hasn't done and that you know really helps. I, I highly recommend having a corporate function at Stumpies. You, your staff is gonna love you. It's gonna bring everybody together. It's great team building. Location where are you. We are at uh, 8462 Palm Parkway, which is just outside of Disney Springs. So it's uh, South Orlando, real close to the Tourist dis District. If you're at Universal or Disney, SeaWorld, any of those, um, we're right there in the middle. Matt, as always, great to see you, Estelle. Great to meet you. Keep up the great work over at Stumpy's. Do yourself a favor, holiday parties, or just go hang out and throw some axes at Stumpy's. Did I ever tell you we had a special treat for you? When I think Halloween, I think Halloween Horror Nights. When Central Florida thinks Halloween, they think Halloween Florida Nights. When the world thinks about Halloween, they think about Halloween Horror Nights. It's one of your favorite things to do during the year, Michaela. It is. I come to Halloween Horror Nights every year. This is their 31st year, so I could not be more happy to be here tonight. And here we are right now at Universal Orlando Resort, one of our favorite places, and certainly one of the best places in the world to experience Halloween. And the 31st year here, the 31st year, obviously Halloween is October 31st, so this year is probably more amazing than any other. We got to tour some amazing haunted houses. You made me walk first. <laughs> and, uh, and I did better at it than I, you. You said you were acting. You, no, no, you no, were no, not like, acting. You sprinted through you, it. You were, you were scared. We, we got to go through <laughs> these amazing zones. We got to eat some amazing, scary, spooky food. What a day we've had here. If you haven't been out here yet, you must do it. Because when you think Halloween, this is what you think. This is absolutely unbelievable. I'm so honored. We are so honored to be joined by, who is, I told you, I've been scared all day. Welcome to Sweet Revenge. I know, the it's unbelievable. Zone. That was Major Sweets that just graced our presence. Laura Sauls joins us here. You've been doing this for a long time. Have you ever been more proud of a Halloween Horror Nights edition than this one? The 31st edition. The 31st edition where Halloween Horror Nights is celebrating the holiday of Halloween, right? It's Our 31st year, what a great year to celebrate October 31st. It and right now, you only have a few more days to come experience this one-of-a-kind world premiere Halloween event. This show is obviously called the Best of Central Florida. Everyone in Central Florida knows about your event here, but this is a nationwide event. People come here from all over the United States. People come here from the globe. All over the world. We have some of our favorite people that come from London, come from um, South America. They're all coming here to celebrate Halloween with us, and we love it. It's amazing. Michaela, no, it's you're so blown amazing. away. I, I mean, just the ambiance, the crowd, you know, having major suites right behind us. I'm like creeped out, but like awesome. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's, like, it's so cool to experience this firsthand. It is. It's really cool. And I heard you guys went through a haunted house. Universal yeah, we just saw Dracula. Yes, Universal Monsters Legends Glide. Yep. It's our Universal Monsters house, and it's awesome because you have Dracula, Wolfman, the mummy, all trying to get the amulet that the mummy wears and to steal it. And I'm sure you saw a winner at the end of that haunted house, but that might change on a nightly, so you have to go through the haunted house multiple times. Now, we still have some time left. You still have time left to get out here, whether it's later tonight, this weekend. This goes through October 31st, I believe. We go through that day we're celebrating, October 31st. You've got to come out. This is the last time you'll see any of this content as we change the content every year. So get out here, enjoy this Halloween celebration at Halloween Horror Nights. We have 10 amazing haunted houses, five unique scare zones, shows, food, the most incredible food that you'll ever taste. I heard you had some princess brains earlier. I, I am sure they're gonna be showing that on the screen right now. We didn't know what it was, we didn't. What, what a great princess, concept. Princess, of course. It looks a little like ground meat, right? It, it, it looks exactly it like tastes, ground meat. It tastes pretty really good. good, right? <laughs> yeah. yep. Absolutely incredible. What I like about it too is, yes, this is Halloween, but this is also still universal. The yes. job that you do here, the way you make people feel 
is a once in a lifetime experience. I mean, people, families, literally, this, this is so, a memory that they will have forever, for the rest of their lives. Forever, and you have to come back, like I said, year after year to see the new things that were created. One of my favorite things to do is stand outside of a haunted house, see people's reaction, how they're coming out of that haunted house, because it's almost always a scream and right into laughter. You should have seen him when he came out of the house, because he was like, the whole time. It was great. <laughs> but didn't you just probably bust into laughter when you yes. were done this? Because it just gives that kind of emotion. It's like an adrenaline, adrenaline but it leaves rush. you so happy 100%, afterwards. 100%. Then ask her then why she was behind me, like holding on. And she made me wear this hoodie. So she, she could she hold on to the hoodie, I swear. Yeah, I said, I, I had another shirt, and she said, no, wear the one with the hoodie, because so she could hold on to it. Yeah. And yeah, she's making fun of me it like happens. I was scared. It happens. It, you must go through all 10 haunted houses, because each one is different, and each one's more horrifying than the next. You've got to hit the live show. Nightmare oh, Fuel is incredible. And I can't tell you enough, the tribute store, the food we have to offer. There's only a few nights left again to see all this amazing content. Because once 2 a.m. October 31st or November 1st hits, it changes next year. It's, it's all true. gone and we have a new Halloween event next year. And I think that's what makes it beautiful too. Even if you've been here before, you come back and it's not going to be the same thing that you saw last Never. year. Yep. You guys yep. do it right. From Thank the food, you. the drinks, the... Uh, just the unbelievable costumes. I mean, this is like a, a, a performance art all right here at Universal. It it's takes a huge team of people to create this event. From our costuming, our designers, our food and beverage partners, our merchandise partners, our marketing and PR partners, to every single person, every single character that's out here on the street working so hard to make this event come to life for you. Every single ops person working those houses, it takes a huge amount of people to bring this passion to our fans here in Central Florida. Unbelievable job. We will see you again next year, but this year really blew me away. Laura, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Michaela, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what an amazing show. What an amazing way to end our Halloween edition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. I'm scared one last time. Uh, Michaela Nichols, wonderful job as always. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks for everyone who made this possible today. And most importantly, thank you for joining us here every single weekend on Best of Central Florida. Hit record series right now. And we'll see you again next week for more Best of Central Florida. The preceding Best of Central Florida program was sponsored in part by Amber Brook Farms, Museum of Illusions Orlando, Stumpy's Hatchet House Orlando, Universal Orlando Halloween Horror Nights, and Sophila Radio and Television Productions.